Oh, Peter Capaldi joins me now. He's so cool. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, you've made this such a cool doctor. Well, the doctor's always cool. He's I know, but you're fun. especially cool, oh, I bless. think. Especially cool. Lots of running around when you're Lots the doctor. Lots of running around, yes. I was just saying that uh, I actually got a knee injury. Yeah. Uh, which uh, was exactly the same knee injury which Matt Smith who was the previous incumbent of, of the role had. In yes. fact, the first time I met him, uh, I invited him to lunch to, to ask him about it. Sure, to say, what's yeah, it yeah, like yeah. being Doctor Who? Mm. And he came in with crutches, on cobbling in on crutches. And I said, what happened to you? And he said, Doctor Who? It's the running about. He said, it's the running about. And it's the running down the corridors and pivoting at the end. Yes. And you end up pivoting on one knee. Of course, and then it gets and all... And you snap ooh. it. Ooh. Is it all right just now? It's fine, yeah. Good, yeah. You can do all of that, yeah, yeah. which is great. great. Now, the DVD's out today. Today, yes. Of series nine, which Seriously. is brilliant. So that means yeah. you get the whole lot of it and you can binge. Because yeah. I quite like that now, that style of telly where you just binge watch. Yes, I do that. I My do wife that. and I do will find something at the weekend and just watch the entire series. Totally. So you'll be able to do that with series nine Fantastic. of Doctor Who. Who now on the DVD and the BBC Store? Fantastic. Well done. Well plugged. Nice to remember that plug there. <laughs> that BBC really Store. Good. I said it twice. I know, which yeah, is brilliant. Fantastic. Now, Series 10, when does that start filming? Uh, it's going to start very soon. Very soon. For some reason, I'm not allowed to tell you. Oh, exactly. no, that's okay. Don't worry. But we know because it's going Doctor Who's veiled in secrecy always. It has to be, because I remember when you were unveiled. Yeah, yeah. And it that was, was very it was, odd. No, it was marvellous. It was very bizarre. It was, it was a big deal, wasn't it? Well, you know, I was taken to. Uh, they decided that it would be a secret. Nobody was to know that I was to be uh, the next Doctor. And I was taken to. Uh, Elstree, I believe, was where we shot the, my reveal. But they, they literally drove me in to, to that place with a blanket over my head. God. So I, did, I never even, to this day, I don't know if there was anybody there at all. You know, it might have all just been a massive con. <laughs> just a bit of yeah. craziness. But That's that just shows you the interest in the series and how much people love it. It's a great show, you know, it's Stephen Moffat. It's an extraordinary writer, an extraordinarily creative person. And you've got to get the writing. Uh, yeah, it's got to be Spot right. On. But also we have an astonishing crew mm. down in Cardiff who I can't praise more highly. Mm. You know, they are an extraordinary bunch of hard-working, talented, gifted people who are obviously who are also great to be around. Well, that's really important. Yeah. When you, you know, when you're doing a lot of running about, you need people round about you as well that are going to be good. And the thing about it is people mm. clamour to get cameos on the show. Yeah. They absolutely clamour to yeah. I mean, that, That's when you know, yes. yeah, you've got something right here. Yeah. When folks just want to be on it, yeah. which is really good. Because yeah. Rebecca Front's been on it, and of course you've worked with her before. Rebecca, we did the, the, the thick of it. You called her an omni shambles. I called her well, an omni shambles, which is a word that has been coined. I know. Which was created by the writer Tony Roach. I know. Uh, who actually came up with that. That must and be extraordinary to come up with a word that suddenly, you know, only Shakespeare's done that. Before. I know, exactly. But now other politicians call each other Omni Shamble. Yeah. Which yeah. is great. And I it's mean, just made up. I know. That was such a brilliant series. And you were so, Fabulous. so, so good in it. Well, thank you. You really were. Now, look, I have to ask you where do you keep your Oscar? Is it in the toilet? Is it a doorstep? <laughs> no, no, no. Where I keep it. it. I've, got a, I've got a wee office and it sits on the mantelpiece. Shoot, that's next to my I remember that. Box. Now, that was what, 1995? That was a long time ago, 1995, yeah. It was just for a little film. Uh, that I, I, I didn't even know they gave Oscars for short films. That's right. what it was. Yes. And I was just interested in directing, and uh, uh, we managed to put together this little film. And then uh, it, it, it was the BBC uh, art and the Arts Council, as was, yeah. uh, who, who gave us the money, not much money. And then they phoned me and said, it's been, uh, we've put it in for the Oscars. I didn't know they were doing that. And then they said, it's been nominated. And I, I thought, this is incredible. So we got to go to the Oscars, but of course we had no money. Mm. So we had to cobble together all the money to get to the Oscars. And then the worst thing was, we, it was extraordinary. We won this Oscar and we thought, all oh, the doors are going to open for us now. Yes. Uh, but when we went home, you know, we, we flew economy. I say me, it's myself, my wife, uh, cool. my daughter and our friend Lindy. Uh, I thought when I went to the BA check-in desk at LAX to go come back home, I just put the Oscar. And people will whisk you off and first class in champagne all the way. Yeah, they said, sorry, the flight's full. They didn't so, know. <laughs> they didn't <laughs> know. So we were, we were in the back in the economy. But it was great because I showed the, everybody in the economy got to hold the Oscar and wave <laughs> and it around. Yeah, it was great. great. Oh, it's great. And will we, will we ever see the Dream Boys reunite? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, that Craig, was your band with Craig uh, Ferguson. With Craig Ferguson, mm -hmm. who was great. And um, we had a great time together. But we we're just a bunch of, uh, you know, at that time, in, in this mid-70s, anybody who could hold a guitar 
You had to have a band. I had to have a band. Of course, Didn't you were any good. So we just had to laugh, and, <laughs> and, it, and it was wonderful. And I love that whole kind of ethos of just having a go. Yeah. But we weren't really very musical. No, but it still could be quite good now. I think it could work. I think yeah. the Dream Boys should make... It's the worst uh, name ever for a band. Well, especially a punk band. Yes. The Dream of, Boys. Yes, I know. It's a terrible, because it was, you know, it was... It, we were trying to be very art schooly and kind of <laughs> exotic and kind of Kafka-esque, but, uh, of course, it just sounds like the Chippendales or something. It now, does. Which we definitely I think there is a band called the Dream Boys. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming in. Um, really looking forward to seeing you. That's it. I'm really sorry. We're really we can keep, I know, but we can keep talking. We can keep okay. talking, but I've got to say bye-bye.